All right, folks. Welcome back to Unscripted Dad. This is episode two of the Sourdough Starter, uh, or day two, technically. It's really what it is. Um, so if you guys watched day one, you saw that we created a beginning dough here, or a starter dough at this point in time. I put the rubber band on here to see if we had any activity, um, and we really didn't have much. Uh, there was like two bubbles at the bottom of this, uh, but that's okay. That's kind of how this works. Uh, so we're going to continue to kind of work our way through here. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take everything, well, half of what's in this jar, place it into a brand new jar, uh, and then add more flour and more water in. Uh, apparently that's called a feeding. Uh, so we're going to use that buzzword or that word uh, that everyone seems to be using online. Um, so yeah, so that's where we're going to go. Um, smells like not as punchy as flour, but it's got an interesting smell so far. Um, nothing crazy, nothing pungenty, nothing sticking out to me other than just waterish flour smell, I guess. More like a Play-Doh? Not even that. That's a bad description, too. Um, anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and put the camera down to our working station here. Uh, and like I said, we're going to go ahead and just kind of move everything over. Same process, 100 grams of flour, uh, 100 grams of water, because that's the consistency that I'm looking for there, or that ease of consistency that I'm looking for. Um, I'm going to take half of this out, so I'm actually going to pour out roughly uh, 100 grams. Yeah, I mean, I guess 100 grams into here, which would be half of what we did before, uh, right? 100 grams of flour, 100 grams of water equals 200 grams, 50% of that. Anyway, that's how math works. So let me go ahead and transition us to the workstation, and then we'll go ahead and get started. All right. How's that look okay for you guys here? Let's bring that up just a bit more. And make sure to lock our focus here. All right, perfect. Uh, so again here, we have our working scale. And I'm gonna go ahead and get that zeroed in with our new jar. So I'll turn that on. Get my tear, again set to 100 grams. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with that. I'm not going to use my spatula just yet, actually, now that I think about it, because otherwise that's going to make working with the flour a little bit more difficult. But in the meantime, this is what I'm going to do here. Let's just start bringing in, look at that. Let's look at that dough already. It's not going to want to come out of here, that's for sure. Interesting, it's like a slime... A very thick slime consistency here. All right, I gave us about 36 grams. Stuff is really like sticking to itself. 86 now. Perfect, actually. Uh, first it said 102, and then it dropped down to 100. So this here, I'm going to toss this out and just wash this, sanitize this bottle and uh, or this container, and then we're going to be using that uh, in tomorrow's video. So every time, just kind of washing and sanitizing the container uh, until probably day six, seven, ten, whenever this thing starts looking alive. Uh, and we can start actually making some dough out of it. Then I'll just leave it inside of that container and then continue to move forward with everything else that I'm doing. Uh, so again, here we are. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and move this to the side uh, just so that we have that there and get my new container here. This is just for the flour, just so that I can try to get as close to that 100 grams as I possibly can. And again, if you don't have a scale, I would just stick to your measurements. Cup, cup for cup, half cup for half cup, that kind of process. I'm just slowly adding in some more. Perfect. Perfect, 100 grams. Bring that over, just like yesterday. Grab our funnel. And work that into the funnel here. Go. 
work that in. All right, set that to the side. Now I'm gonna bring my next container in. Now this one's just for water. Tear that out. And then come in with my big jug of water here. Now remember, I'm using filtered water only because I didn't want to leave my tap water out all night before I got started. So that's why I'm just using some of this distilled, not sorry, not distilled, just purified drinking water. Might be causing part of the problem here and why I didn't see much yesterday, but that's okay. I'm gonna trust the process. And say so we probably won't see anything until three to four days anyway. All right, so bringing that back in here, adding that water in, take my spatula again. Now I'm just gonna work everything in together. I'm gonna use that old dough we made yesterday and work it in with the new flour, the new water, and just incorporate it all together. I think I use the phrase, make the dry ingredients wet and make the wet ingredients dry. That's pretty much what we're doing here. Getting them really good. Now, what I will say is today, interestingly, the dough or the two ingredients between the, the flour and the water actually mixed in easier today. So I'm gonna like double check to make sure that I'm just not accidentally not mixing enough, but this actually worked extremely well with incorporating to that 100 grams of starter that were in there. Let's actually say that this is probably already done mixing. I don't think it's going to mix any better than what it is currently. It almost looks like a pancake batter, like a very, very, very thick pancake batter. Just really working that in here. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I feel like this just worked so much better today. All right, so same as yesterday, I'm gonna kind of push everything down. Kind of clear off that spatula here. Try to get all this stuff down at the bottom. I'm sure if you leave some up top, it's not going to be a big deal, but at least that helps. Yeah, see, and it's like, as you can tell, it's kind of already a doughy-like consistency. All right. That's pretty much it for the day. Uh, so I'm going to put the rubber band back on. Well, I'm gonna struggle with the band -aid, the rubber band here for a second. And I'm gonna put it back on. And I'm going to put it right to where I see the dough currently. And the reason why we put that rubber band on there is just so that if we come back later and we see any growth or any elevation, uh, then we can see relatively quickly and we're not double guessing whether or not we had any growth or any issues with that in the process. Uh, so I'm going to go through that. Uh, again, just loosely cover, leave it out at room temperature so that it can start its fermentation process or its culturing process, whatever you want to call it. And we'll check in again in about 24 hours for the next episode. Um, I'll take a picture of what this looks like afterwards. I already took a picture of what the first day looked like. Um, yeah.
just kind of show you guys there what that looks like now. Um, visually, there's like no difference between the two, so uh, I won't show the other one. But that's it. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow.